well, given he's the MCC president this year, you better give us your take on the Gatting Ball. Well, I think people are pretty ready to go home, Mark, but... Um, <laughs> look, just quickly, I, I, look, it was a pretty amazing time to be part of an Ashes series in 1993, and the president, Mr Mike Gatting, a wonderful man. Anyway, exactly the test match, I get selected for the first test match. We, um, England took an aggressive decision again and decided to bowl first. And... Um, <laughs> We batted, made about 260 or something like that for about six. Uh, the next day, I ran Craig McDermott out about second ball. We were bowled out. England's turn to bat. They come in, and uh, they're going really well. Mike Atherton, Graham Gooch playing well. And just before the break, uh, Alan Border said to me, mate, next over that end. So I started to get loose. As I started to get loose, Merv Hughes knocks over Mike Atherton. Knocks him over, Mike Gatting comes out. So we've got Gatting and Gooch, two legend players for England there, just before the break. So they, they play well, they get to lunch. So I'm sitting at the lunchroom and I'm sort of looking around the players thinking, how lucky am I to be in this dressing room with these players? There's David Boone with a moustache just sort of falling into his food. <laughs> so I started to think, what a wonderful bunch of blokes I'm playing cricket with. And then we come out after the break and Alan Border said, look, start up after the break. So Mike's on strike, Mike Gatting's on strike, Merv uses it mid off. I'm standing at the top of my mark and I sort of, Dicky Bird says, play. So I stand there, sort of a little bit nervous, hoping to get the ball down the other end. And Merv just sort of says, give us one of those things that go really fast and straight. He won't be expecting it. I said, shut up, Merv. I just want to sort of land the bloody thing. <laughs> <sighs> Take a deep breath, look around. And he goes, find one of those funny things that go the other way. <laughs> I said, Merv, can you just shut up, will you, please? I'm trying to... Alan Borders at cover over here and he said, mate, is there any danger of you bowling the ball? <laughs> I said, look, Skip, I'm sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous. I've just got to take my time, take a deep breath. He said, well, okay, just hurry up. <sighs> Bowl one of those big turning ones, Merv. <laughs> Rightio, Merv. So I come in, take a step and uh, doesn't say anything, bowl the ball. Gat sort of makes me look really good and <laughs> sort of... <laughs> sort of follows the... Follows the drift a little bit, and you know, if it had been a sandwich or something, you probably wouldn't have missed it, but... <laughs> he misses the ball and um, hits the top of the stump. Ian Healy was over here somewhere. He starts jumping around and all that sort of stuff. We all run in, and then Merv sort of sticks his tongue in my ear and said, told you, told you, just buy one of those things. <laughs> it's, um, it's not that hard. And so that was my sort of first ball to Mike Gatting, which... Um, it was a bit of a fluke, but um, it was pretty special too, yeah. And in, a, and in a sentence, what do you remember about that ball? Well, I remember Merv and um, <clears throat> Warney coming out of the pub just as, uh, well, coming into the pub as I was going out, actually. So they'd been on a big night the night before because it had rained in uh, Old Trafford, as I remembered it anyway. But no, um, <laughs> the, the ball came down and, and you, could see, you could hear it. It was fizzing and uh, you, you, you could see the spin on it and um, it was drifting in um, as it would do with a bit of spin on. And um, I was a bit worried about it bowling me around my legs, actually, rather than anything else. But as uh, Gucci said to me, your ass is too big, so don't worry about that. <laughs> yeah, I lay like us. So, so, so um, it, it's turned and um, it, it's gone across me, and I'm quite wide, and I thought I had most things covered. And the reason I actually stood there was because it actually just, just took the bail off. It didn't hit the stump, so you didn't hear the death rattle. And, and the bail came off, and heels were still down the leg side, floundering around. And uh, as he was trying to get back to the offside, I thought he'd actually kick the bail off. Because I looked down and saw the bail on the floor and I hadn't heard anything. So that's why I stood there. And um, anyway, the fact of the matter is it's a bloody good ball and he bowled quite a few more in the rest of his career. So, was, so let's be fair, um, wonderful bowler and um, glad to be a part of it. Lovely. I'm worried about the IPL. In fact, I fear it shouldn't be there at all as it is changing the priorities of world cricket.